John Bianchi and a group of retired servicemen gathered outside a gas station on a cold February day. It's a pit stop on their journey to lay George Fuentes and Joseph Barra to rest. Two men they've never met, but still feel loyal to. Evidently, there was no one, relative or anyone else, that would take the responsibility to give him a uh, proper burial. Fuentes passed away in September, Vera in 2009. No one had claimed their remains until the Missing in America project came along. Its mission to locate, identify, and claim remains of American veterans. In 2012, Governor Nikki Haley signed a law that allows funeral homes to transfer veterans' remains to service organizations for formal military burials. I'm humbled that we're allowed to do this. So off they went to the Florence National Cemetery to honor the men on the ride to their final resting place. We'll be able to turn around and take them to the National Cemetery and place them where they belong for what they did for our country and uh, we'll give them full military honors. A three volley salute, taps and the folding of the American flag as part of the tribute. Christina and her husband Brian knew George and drove from Charleston to honor his life. He actually was just a gentleman that we come across as our friend, um, homeless gentleman for quite some time, and he just became more of a member of our family. And it also means a lot to the servicemen who share their sacrifices with a simple salute. Reporting in Florence, April Baker, News Channel 15.